right, y'all, this is part six of the contract and it is the finale. We have been dragging this out long enough. So where do we end off, girl? Girl, some messiness, incestual. Oh Lord, so Tierra just caught her fiance, Paul, arguing, arguing with his mother and they ended up kissing. Tierra was disgusted, as she should be. So she caught a cab in the middle of the night to go home. So when she arrived home the next morning, Paul is calling her house or her apartment, excuse me, she's ignoring the calls. Calling, calling, calling. He's sending over post postcards or whatever, girl. He's sending every type of, you know, messages, flowers, anything to, you know, get her attention and she's ignoring it. Finally, a couple of weeks later, he shows up at the club and she confronts him. She goes up to the VIP section where he is at and he's like, what's going on? I have been trying to contact you for weeks after my mom had showed up and you're not answering my calls. And she looked at Paul and she's like, I saw you too. And his face again had the look of, I know that you know. He's like, you saw us? She's like, yes, I saw you and your mother kissing. Like, what is that about, Paul? And so he looks at her, he's like, you don't understand. She's like, clearly I don't understand what is going on. He's like, you you wouldn't understand. And so she looks at, him, looks at him and she's like, you are disgusting. I can't believe I spent all this time with you. And all along, you've been secretly in love with your own mother. What type of man are you? He's like, you don't have to worry about that. But what you have to do is abide by the contract. And she's like, T.R. is confused. She's like, contract? What do you mean the contract? He's like, remember the paperwork that you signed during your audition? And she thought about it. And she's like, yeah. Now she remembers the paperwork she had signed. Remember when she had her initial audition, y'all, five episodes earlier? And Rose, his receptionist, said, oh, don't worry about reading it. Just go ahead and sign it. Well, apparently there was an NDA in that, a non-disclosure agreement to where she cannot discuss anything that she has seen going on at his parties, at his house. She cannot disclose the relationship that he has with his own mother or she will be sued by Paul. And so she's like, what are you talking about? He's like, you need to understand that you signed an NDA and you cannot talk about this or speak of anything that goes on in my house, anything that you have experienced. You can keep all the gifts I gave you. If you try to talk about anything that you have seen, the relationship I have with my, with my mother, I will take you for everything that you have. And honestly, that's nothing. Tierra was shocked. This was the man that she had grown to love and come to find out he secretly had her to sign this contract to where if she were discovered, if she were to discover about his relationship with his mother, that he would sue her. So she was like, fine, you don't have anything to worry about. Y'all, Tierra is sick and biting. And of course, she keeps the gifts that he gave her because he said that she could keep that, you know. Um, and, you know, a couple of weeks go by Sorry y'all, fast forwarding a couple of weeks go by and she sees another young lady goes up to Paul's VIP section and he's wooing her. Of course, Tierra's thinking she's the next project, quote unquote. And so as the young lady is going down the stairs from the VIP section, Tierra looks at her and she says, you need to be careful about Paul. He's not the man you think he is. That same thing that Sharon tried to warn her of. So y'all, <laughs> <laughs> that is it with the contract. Paul has this ancestral relationship with his mother and no one, no one would ever be able to come to, to the level of his own mother. Um, Chastity did end up um, discovering about the relationship. They had an argument and she went overboard and she did. It was an accident. She did accidentally drown and they never found her body. Now the T is that Richard AKA child, what's her name? Honey, I've had two or three drinks of wine. <laughs> Richard um, was apparently one of his potential, you know, suitors, and he had him or her, excuse me, to sign an NDA. So she could not talk about it either. Sharon was one, and of course, Chastity was one. And of course, we end off with now with Tiara, who is not able to warn these other young women that Paul is secretly in love with his own mother, and you're no competition for his own mama, girl. So y'all, that is it. 
for um the contract i hope y'all enjoyed this one i know i dragged it out i think the next one may come in a couple more weeks i'm kind of toying with the idea i have an idea of what it could be but i'm still thinking about it all right you guys thank you so much for watching take care bye